Hi, this is Marcel of Marcel on Tech, and today I'm talking about something a little different. Normally I cover mobile tech, but today we're going to do some wireless earbuds. And I've got hold of what I feel are some of the best wireless earbuds on the market at the moment. Now, there are more options, such as the Apple uh, AirPods, but I don't want to review those because I don't tend to use iPhones. So I want to use ones that are compatible with most phones, especially Android, but also iPhone. And these two are ones that I kept coming back to as being some of the best. So what have we got here? We've got the Sony X1000 MX4s, and we've got the Samsung Pro Buds 2, which are also very, very good. Now, I've got both of these uh, at a very, very good price because they were on sale. So the timing was also really, really good. And I want to talk about the differences and how they feel and look for you as well. So let's get into it. Right, so we're in. Now, I do want to say I've got an honorable mention in that I also have, and I've been daily driving, the Nothing Ear Phone 1. But these probably don't compare to these. These were under 100 euros when I bought them. And to be honest, they don't really compete with the likes of the Sony or the Galaxy Bud Pros 2 either. So I'm going to leave those out. And I may, may mention to these because there are some advantages to these ones that I like. But I definitely feel that these two, Sony and the Samsung, go head to head against each other. So first and foremost, let's have a look at the form factor. So with the Sony, I have to say... I really, really like the feel of the box. It's a very, very unique design. It almost feels like stone, um, and it even sounds a little bit like it. Um, now, I can already see that without even trying, it's gathered a few scratches there, but uh, I really like the design of the box. It is quite ergonomic, fits in the pocket really nicely, and I carry it in my bag all the time. Uh, what I do have, like as well are the design of the earbuds are really, really unique. They are quite bizarre and quite interesting, also quite large. So talking about that, the design themselves are very, very cool. Uh, but when you put them in your ear, I've got relatively large ears. And I have to say, I do like the fit in the ear, but you definitely know that they're there. Now, what do I mean by that? Of course, you're going to know they're there. There are some earbuds that you wear where you can put them in and you forget about them within five minutes. These, you will not forget that they're there. They are not only blocking sound, of course, uh, because of the active noise cancellation, but also passive noise cancellation. They are large and quite heavy. But there's a reason for that, and I'll come back to it. Okay, so... These earphones, I think, uh, off the bat, when they go in the box, very, very easy to get in. They magnetize in and stay in really, really well. Also, the lid is quite unique. I actually thought it was broken. It only opens to there, but then when you push it that extra bit, it actually locks in place. So that's a very clever design feature. And then, of course, you've got a flashing light here that tells you when it's charging um, or when it's connected, etc. So it changes color. When you put them in your earphone, in your ears, you actually get a notification of the battery status straight away. So it immediately tells you what level the earbud is in terms of battery, and it will charge up very quickly inside the box when you charge it up. So that's really, really good. Let's have a look at the design feature of the Samsung. So I went for the lavender color because I really think uh, they've done a nice uh, color choice or colorways with this. And I have to say, I do like the feel of the material they've used. It's like a soft felt. Um, it looks really, really nice. It's got their classic square sort of shape um, with rounded edges box, but it's comfortable in the hand. It's probably not quite as ergonomic as the Sony's, uh, but it's a very small box. It's very, very cute, very, very tidy, um, and obviously opens up and again has a snapping open lid, and you get a light on the inside here that tells you different things such as power on or charging, etc. You also get a little light here as well when it is charging etc to give you different notifications now putting the earbud in again this is a very different story when you put this into your ear it really does sit in very deeply within the ear and although you can see it it's not gouging out of my ear like so and is almost flush with my ear as well so these are significantly different in terms of size compared to the sony's and it is quite surprising how small they are, but in terms of functionality, everything else is the same. So in terms of how they look and feel, 
These ones I can almost forget that they're in my ear because they're very light and they're very small and they do fit well in my ears. Of course, this is, can be very subjective. Everyone has very different feeling ears. My, one ear for me, in fact, is slightly different from the other. My right ear is always a bit more problematic, um, but they do fit very comfortably in my ear. And I tried the different silicone tips, uh, which both of these have is silicone tips that sit right inside your ear and it does make a difference. So for me, comfort wise, these Sony's really are the winners. So they're really, really good. Okay, so looking at functionality now. So both of these are going to come with apps that you put onto the phone. So the Sony one is probably the most uh, detailed and extensive. That is a very complete app that has everything from um, active noise cancellation, of course, but it also has adaptive noise cancellation. What that means is you've got the earphones in. If I start to speak, it immediately switches off the ambient or the uh, active noise cancelling so that I can then hear if I'm speaking to somebody um, and I can hear them back as well. So that is quite clever. Where that's a bit annoying is if you are listening to music and you have that activated, if it picks up a voice anywhere near you, it will cut out the sound and it will cut out the um, ANC. So it's good. It's not perfect because of course you can't always distinguish between whose voice it is that's speaking. Uh, but it's a very, very clever system. And when it works well, it's ideal because obviously you might be listening to something quietly. And if somebody wanted to speak to you, then it will pick it up and you can obviously start speaking and hear them very, very well as well. So that's quite clever, but you can toggle that on and off. You can also use uh, Alexa and you can use uh, Google Assistant as well. So all of those are built into here where you can just hold and press and then you can use all of those services that are available to you, which is pretty impressive to be announced because both of those services obviously have pros and cons. Google Assistant is a massive ecosystem, and if you can access it directly through the earbud, that is pretty, pretty cool. Now, these also have active noise cancellation, and they are very good. I would say they are actually almost on a par. These are slightly better, and I'm gonna explain to you why these are slightly better. But these also do have excellent active noise cancellation, which can be activated and deactivated very easily from the earbud. You don't have to go into the app. The difference being with the Samsung is that if you have a Samsung device, like I do, then it allows for slightly more functionality. So there is an app that you get for all Androids, but if you have the Andro uh, uh, Samsung device, the amount of adjustability that you have is just that little bit more. So there is an advantage to having the ecosystem, but everything works fully with all Androids anyway. So it's the, you're definitely not losing out like you would be with the Apple AirPods who have definitely uh, closed it into the iPhone. And sadly, the, uh, the Apple AirPods are actually very, very good uh, earphones. Um, Samsung have been a bit more open uh, as always, of course, and you can use this on many more devices. So the active noise cancellation is very good. It does work well. I would say the, the Sony's are stronger for me personally in terms of active noise cancellation, but these definitely work well. I'd probably say I'd give these about a B plus and I'd give these an A, okay? So these are very, very good, uh, but not fully, fully because they are quite small as a result. So of course, the passive blockage as well is not quite the same as having something as enormous as the Sony's in your ear as well. So what are we getting that's an advantage with the size of these devices? So these earphones are going to last longer, quite simply, very, very good. I could use it for, I mean, over a period of time, This that ended up being about two weeks before I needed to charge this. So using them on and off, active noise cancellation on, active noise cancellation off. Reality of it is, is that you, you're either gonna use it quite a lot or you're not. Um, so your, your usage is going to be variable, but the battery life really wasn't a problem. It really lasted longer than I expected, and I was very, very happy. Plus, it comes with wireless charging. So I have a wireless charger on my desk. I can just plonk the earphones on there, and they will charge up very, very quickly. And just from 30 minutes of wireless charging, I can get around three hours of playtime on the earphone, earbuds as well. So really, really good. Similar situation with the Samsungs. You've got, you've got the uh, wireless charging on there, so you can just place them on there and they will begin to charge, which is a massive bonus. Again, you get a light symbol on there. In this case, there's a red light and it goes green when it's fully charged. But because of the simple size of the earbuds, 
you don't get as much playback time as you do from the Sony's. Now, is that going to affect you? You can definitely get a whole day of playback out of these, so that's never going to be a problem. Um, you can obviously charge it up from for 30 minutes and you'll get around two and a half hours, two hours of playtime straight away if the battery is dead inside the, uh, the case and the, the phone, the ear, earbuds were discharged as well. So these are just as good, but with slightly smaller battery capacity uh, as well. So in Finale, sound quality, that really is what it comes down to in the end. And the simple truth of it is, you will get the best sound quality. Now for me personally, and again, it's personal choice, I do like a little bit of extra bass. And as a result of having extra bass, I find the Sony's, because of their sheer size and the drivers involved, they manage to get a lot of bass, which is really good, very clear, very punchy, and I really, really like it. But you pay the price because you've got those si the size of those buds inside your ear, you're definitely gonna know that that's there. With the Samsungs, I was actually very pleasantly surprised at just how much bass came through these based on the fact that they are this small. If I want to feel a song intensely, it's going to be the Sony's. But if I want to enjoy some music, walking out, walking by the beach, going by the sea, in, even on a, in, a, in a vehicle, the Samsungs are going to be perfectly adequate. These are surprisingly good earbuds which actually fit very snugly in the ear. And for comfort, I actually find these more comfortable than the Sony's. An added bonus from the Sony's is the fact that they're using a lot of recyclable materials as they profess. Even the box that it comes in is surprisingly recyclable. And uh, also very, very basic and rudimentary looking. It's got a similar sort of feel to the exterior. This is obviously plastic. This actually feels like it's thickened or hardened cardboard, but therefore is very, very recyclable. So uh, it's a nice presentation, cleverly done, and uh, I would highly recommend it for that reason alone. But it is also a very, very good set of earphones that you would definitely not be disappointed with. But if you do are concerned about the size and the way they come out of the ear, then that may be something that, that is relevant for you. Um, the Sonys fit in my ear really, really nice. They sit very flush, and so for comfort and weight, there's a lot less to it. So these are definitely very good earbuds. Now, honorable mentions from the nothings, I would actually say these are more comfortable than both of these. But the downside is that the quality of sound is not on par with these. So these are more comfortable, very, very light in the ear. Uh, they sit and block out sound. They do have active noise cancellation, but again, they're not as good as these two. Um, and there isn't as much bass as there are on these two as well. But these are very good value earbuds. So if you want excellent value, the Nothing earphones, these are the Nothing 1s, the Nothing 2s are now out, um, and they're only 149 euros. This are selling already still for under 100 euros. So these are excellent value right now. So if you're on a budget, you, can, you can't go wrong with the Nothings because I'm a big fan. But if, you, if I had to rate it, I'd probably say the Sony's are best for sound quality and the Samsung's are best for comfort and ease of use. Okay, so hope you got some value out of that. Of course, there'll be links in the description below. If you disagree with me, please put a comment and let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you very soon for my next one. Bye-bye for now.